St. John 4 and 22, ye worship ye know not what, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Right, we know what we worship because we worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, as the scripture has said, man, according to truth. Read on. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall follow the Father in spirit and in truth. The right. elect, the time has come, man. And it's now when right. the elect will worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth. Yep. That's what we're doing. So, right. in other words, they, they tried to lock Yahweh Shai up from, from even from the elect. But, you know, in the most highest due time, he had to be released, man. So, now we worship him in spirit and in truth. So, through the, through the works, through the working of Yahweh the Father, Yahweh Shai has been uncovered. He was he was locked up in my mind. I knew he was black, you know, and I knew certain things, but it was a lot of, right. of the scripture that I did not know. Yeah. When I say a lot, man, 99% of, of the truth, I didn't know. Like, you know, really some brothers say, some brothers say they had, say 100%. they had a 90% knowledge before yeah, they came yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you might have, I'm the, the you yeah, really got to, we didn't have a, we didn't have a 100% no, because you, you scripture right, though. say, you right. A little living, living in the whole lung. I mean, you might have, no, you right. Knew a little Jesus account right. set of scriptures and knew, that's right. You know, but basically until you come into this truth, you, you don't have no one. You just don't have it, man. You know? So really the most high possess you with the truth. Important. And yeah, impute uh in, impute you with the truth. Yeah. You know? So the right, so basically <laughs> for lack of a better term, man, Yahweh Shah was was unbound to the elect. Read that, brother. I'm thinking about another scripture, but read that. Come For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Right. Woo. Those who worship him in spirit and truth. That's what the Father seeks. Seek. Right. He don't he don't want you worshiping him in ignorance. Talking about you got the Holy Ghost and you just spitting and drooling from the mouth, jumping up and Say down. You're speaking in tongues. Right, all that madness, man. No, the Lord wants you to worship him in spirit and in truth. Now the Holy Spirit do make you make you feel good, man. But that's you 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 get an understanding of something you didn't right, understand, right. man. It make you feel. Yeah. But you don't be right. Oh, that stupid them shit, man. Yeah, that, that's demons coming on you, man. <clears throat> your your grandma in church acting a goddamn fool. Talking about they speaking in tongues, speaking gibberish. Right, speaking demons. Right. <laughs> this shit. Tongue mean language. Right. right. That's right. Yeah, you be talking to them demons, you know. You know, when you get that feeling, man, it's a what it is is a, a it's it's a feeling of enlightenment. It, it's it's making you you getting brilliance, which is how it, you know light is measured with with in brilliance, man. You actually becoming brilliant. You you understanding. You getting light. The understanding of this word is the light, man. Right, right. You getting that light, and you feel that when you, when you get the under, when the spirit deal with you, and you get an understanding of something, man, there ain't a greater feeling in the world, man. Yeah. You be like, oh man, you can actually feel it going through your body. Right. And knowing that, and, right, and knowing that only this only could have happened by the uh, the power of the right, Most High right. through His Son, you know. Because like them brothers going into all the different philosophies that's out here, man, it's a million and one different uh, schools of knowledge that you can get into. Yeah. You know, and for you to get the understanding of this book, the Most High got to open up your your mind. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> and that's uh, yeah, that's beautiful, man. And that's that's why the Scripture calls the Holy Spirit our Comforter. That, that comforts you, man. You When you're in a dark society and the Most High start cutting on lights for you to see and you could travel down that straight and narrow now. That's right. That, that, that's, a, you know, yeah. that's comfort. Yeah, man. You, you, you have been in a, a, I mean, everybody been in a dark room or house and you, you, you don't really, you try to feel your way right. around. 
that's you know that's yeah. an uneasy feeling. Yeah, that's uneasy. Especially if you're unfamiliar with the place. Then somebody cut the light on, you'd be like, okay, now yeah. you know, now I'm good. That's how when brothers first came into this truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, you start learning about the Illuminati and, and how these corporations work and all these corporations basically dedicated to Satan. And then you be like, man, you know, you start to see lights start coming right. on and it's a comfort to you. Yeah. You know? And that's 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 the comfort. Yeah, that's right. That's the that's the, uh, that's the Holy Spirit guiding us right. into all truths. Yep. Like the scripture says. He guides you into all truth. Yep. Yep. And that's a that's a comfort, man. Having truth is comfort. Yeah. It's unpleasant at time. Of the truth is all of them. Yeah. All, more, more than yeah. right, more than right. not. Yeah. It's unpleasant, man. But you know, it's it's necessary. Right. And it's gonna lead to your salvation. But that's we why, know. Uh, that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I was gonna say that's why Isaiah 33 and 6 holds so much weight, man. Because that's what's gonna keep you stable mentally and spiritually when all hell break loose, man. man. I want that scripture. I was gonna go into that too, if the Lord willing, man. But uh. Yeah, bring, bring, finish that, bro. Come on. Read the verse you just read. This is St. John 4 and 23. But the hour cometh and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yeah. So you have to worship the Lord in spirit, not in the carnal mind, not being in the flesh, in spirit and in truth. Yeah. So that, that means, man, you know, a lot of the stuff that goes on in these haunted houses, man, that's, that's, that's in the flesh, man. That's carnal. Yeah. The Lord ain't checking for that, man. Like a nigga talking about, he got a, uh, how, how much how much his dog costs? Oh, yeah. Oh, you talking about a uh, case of price? $10,000. Yeah. Oh, that's something how like much that. The Lord ain't pleased with that, man. Right. The Lord gonna kill a nigga like that, man. Man, he called himself being the man of the Lord. Free flow dollar running, running him and him and all uh, that nigga yeah, through uh, the money, dancing on. through money, man. That's right, that's right, fleshly. Right, right, that's right, corner. Right. You know, always in these ten thousand dollar suits, man, looking looking good in front of the congregation. That ain't got nothing to do with this work. Robbing your people. Exactly. But the true worship is worshiping the Lord and Spirit and the truth. Read that next verse. Come on. Verse 20, St. John 4 and 24. The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's the point. They must worship. That's it. Yeah. The Most High is a spirit. The only way you're going to worship him is in the spirit. Yep. And in truth. Yep. So this is... This society got it all twisted, man. Right. They got it. They got shit ass backwards, you know. And and like the elder man, elder to heart brought up a beautiful point, man. I, I got to say, you know, they might get on us about the four letter words that we say, you know, like like we might say ass or fuck or something. you know that ain't. Elder to heart brought up a beautiful point, you know, when with uh, Yashai coming out trying to say. Man, you know, that cussing or whatever, speaking against cursing. And man, Apostle Tahar cut him and said, yeah, you don't have a reason to curse. You've been on a 15-year yeah. hiatus, however long it been. You ain't got no reason to curse. You ain't been on the battlefield. You ain't been on the front line. Day in, day out, man, in the right. trenches, man. Like the scriptures say, treading the corn. Right. Doing the work. Hey, Ward. Looking witnessing the wickedness of niggas, man, being spoken against, you know? Yeah. Niggas bucking up against you. Hell yeah, you gonna curse. You gonna use some four-letter words right. here and there, man. People do it for less. But you and you enjoying the fruits of your wicked labor, man, off the money you done stole. You done took that two, two, two decades off to enjoy that money. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't got no reason to curse. So that ain't that ain't got nothing to do with uh being spiritual, man. Yep. Like we brought we done went into this, most of those words are in the scriptures. Right. But yep. different different words but the same meaning. But but uh Okay, we go. 
Right to that, yeah, please. Like, no. Go ahead, jump to uh, that, that Isaiah, okay. 33 and 6. This is Isaiah, 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Most High is his treasure. Speak on it, Go ahead. Con. Con. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time. Right. Oh. Go ahead, brother. Wisdom and knowledge, man, is going to be the stability because the times that we're in, man, these times are very chaotic. It's chaotic right now, but, whoo, you ain't seen nothing right. yet, man. Right. It's going to be off the chain, like Jake like to say, right. man. So, what's going to hold you down? When all hell breaks loose around you, what's gonna hold you down? Knowledge and, and, and uh, read it again, knowledge and understanding. Right, and, not, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Wisdom and knowledge. Right. You're gonna have to have that, man. That's gonna hold, keep you stable. And that's only gonna be for those who worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. That's right. Go ahead, read on. Having wisdom and knowledge in the times that we come into, that's the only thing. That's your map. That's what's gonna get you through the things that's to come. You know, knowing the things that's coming, knowing martial law is coming to these streets. The majority of people just walking through the, walking up and down the street right now, have no clue as to what's coming to this place. They think shit just like that cat that came out here earlier. 4,000 years from now. If you thinking we gonna be here 4,000, or people are gonna be, things are gonna be going like this 4,000 years from now. First of all, 4,000 years from now, if this was to continue, it would destruct. Yep. Because this place is on a self-destruct pattern. This place is going, to, it practices destructive behaviors. Two men raising a child, that's a destructive behavior. That's a destructive lifestyle. America is a, it, it will destroy you. Micah that's, 2 and 10. Exactly, that's why Micah 2 and 10 say what it say. Come up out of this to avoid the destruction. Knowledge and wisdom, the spirit dealing with you and giving you understanding of the things that's to come, that's going to get you through the the, the time that we come into and the time that we in. But right, the majority of these people is just floating, just empty, and just our heads, man. Back back to that analogy with the with a fighter. A fighter trains so that when he get in the ring, he don't have to think. Cause when them hands coming at you, Wait. you don't have time to sit there and, and, and think. You gotta react. So it just with us, we train in this word. Right. So like I say, when all hell break out against us, we ain't got to stop and wonder, well, why is this happening? What is going on? What is this? We, ought to, we know what it right. is, and we're going to spring into action. We're going we gonna to spiritually react. Right. That's right. You people out here that choose not to take heed to the word of the Lord, you're going to be wandering, wandering around looking for answers. And that ain't going to be the time to be looking for answers. We got answers right now, and y'all don't want it. Hey, that apply to even right now, man, because every uh, week we hit the battleground, and that's the difference from the false pastors and the true men of the Lord. We out here susceptible to anybody, man. The so-called white man can come up, these heathen nations, our own people come up bucking against us, and we got to stand strong for the gospel, man. Against and, and time after time, whoever come up, whatever, any doctrine, madness, whatever they would have come up with, they get defeated through the spirit, man. Not on our uh, power, but the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's right, brother. So you got to, like we say, man, Paul said, he told Timothy, he wrote to Timothy to war a good warfare. Right. Timothy 2 and 18, 1 Timothy 2 and 18. He told him to war a good warfare. This is, this is a spiritual warfare we entangled in, man. Right. These demons don't want to see you receive salvation. They don't want to see you get on the chariot. Satan don't want to see you get on the chariot. You know? And the worst thing you could do in this truth is be your own worst enemy. Man. 
Cause Jake, Jake could do that. Yep. 